Okay, this is how to open a Seagate GoFlex desk 4 terabyte hard drive enclosure. So I am just taking it's already been unboxed and I'm just taking it out of the plastic wrapper. Um, just note the some of the other units that I've opened don't have a plastic uh, cellophane protector here, and they're slightly the they were easier to open than this these ones that have this plastic strip covering around the outside edge here. Uh, just unsnap the SATA uh, to USB 3 adapter and. And the next thing I do is get the this plastic, this cellophane out of the way. I'm not actually removing it. I'm just moving it out of the way. This is a, a Starbucks coffee cup uh, seal so that when you're transporting it, it doesn't spill. And I use it instead of a spudger because they don't cost anything and uh, I can go get one anytime I want. And it's kind of convenient that way. So um, it's a little bit more flexible. Well, it's a lot more flexible than most of the spudgers that are out there. But it still won't mark or scar. You can see that I've, I've inserted this and I'm just slowly pushing it in and it's it's raising the plastic it's raising this cover panel so I'm the reason for raising this is because you need to insert uh, the tool in here so that's all of these have popped free now there are there are other clips all the way around the edge here so I just push upwards from the from the bottom in order to get those to release, maybe work it sideways a little bit. Okay, so now that's off, you can see the sticker, one of the stickers of the hard drive inside there. Um, one thing to note is that, okay, the orientation of the hard drive, so here's the, the SATA connector, and that is going to be the side that it stays with. So this panel, there's an edge right here that goes around um, this side, and the rest of this unit, all of this down here, is all one piece. So it's just a two-piece unit, and then the drive is inside. Um, this, the sticker here, there's about a three sixteenths of an inch or, or maybe about three millimeters of, um, sticker that overlaps between the bottom piece and the top piece. And it's going to be, when, when you remove it, it's going to be left hanging there and not, uh, adhered to anything. One thing to note is that the serial numbers on the... Uh, on the box, the serial number that's available through the uh, the warranty software that when you install it in Windows is not the same as the serial number that's on the d bare drive unit inside. Anyway, so on to the good part. This is the this is the hardest part is just getting taking this and shoving it in between this. Uh, this is the, the the larger piece. This is the smaller piece. So I'm sh the orientation here is to go opposite where the slot is for the SATA power connector. So I'm inserting this in between the two. This is releasing that tab or latch. And then I'm putting my fingernail underneath this corner here and pulling it free. And if you still have any problems, you can always take and 
put reinsert your tool further down to release another tab or pair of tabs. It's not, um, you know, I've done this uh, half a dozen. This is this will be the sixth one that I've opened, so it's still I have some difficulty with it. It is not a, a precise process. But this is the easiest way I've found to do it. So, cracked open, no broken plastic. Um, I did have a problem uh, with one of the other ones where I, when I pulled, peeled this tab off, these didn't release cleanly and all of these six tabs broke loose. Um, not that I consider that essential. And I did make sure that I documented the serial numbers against the, uh, the drive serial numbers against the chassis serial numbers. So if I need to warranty them, I can put them back in the original packaging and send them back. So here is the, the next piece to actually take the drive out. So I'm just gently tapping it. and separating the outside cover from the drive unit. Which I'm making it look more difficult than it actually is. So it's got these, the, the bare drive has these little rubber uh, vibration dampeners and if you if you just gently peel up on the on the outside edge maybe rock them a little bit it works better at like 65 degrees Fahrenheit and up it's a little cold in here this morning um, so the adhesive doesn't really want to come loose But the um, these rubber pieces conceal the uh, let's just try a different one conceal the screws. There we go. That one come off pretty easy. So they're just being gentle about it, and uh, so there's the the adhesive that's left on the foot. I just stick them back on and then remove my screws. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate that, but that's that's how you get a uh, Barracuda XT 4000 gigabyte, also uh, known as a STD, uh, I'm sorry, an ST 4000 DX 000 um, out of the STAC 4000 chassis. Um, which they actually, their part number on it's different, uh, but that's the that's the mo that's the model number that I searched for in making my purchases. Um, anyway, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know.